guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and this video is all about the new M3 and M4. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited for these cars. So in this video, we're going to go over all the information we know so far, and as new information comes out or is leaked, we'll do updated videos. So make sure to subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of those updates. And of course, like and share this video so our channel can grow. And as always, leave a positive comment below. Well, as a three-time M3 owner, I'm really excited uh, for the new M3 and the M4. So in this video, again, we'll go about know what we know so far. And uh, I think this is going to be a really exciting car. Well, it seems like it's going to debut sometime in 2020 as a 2021 model. Now, we've already tested the engine in this car. If you follow the channel a few weeks ago, we tested the X3M. And that has the engine that's going to be in this car. So more on that in a few minutes. So now the engine is actually going to be known as the S58 engine. Again, we've already tested it on this channel in the X3M. So watch this video all the way through. And I will link it at the end of the video so you can watch that. Now it's based on the S58 engine. Of course, is based on the uh, B58 engine. And it's a straight six that's been around since 2015. Now we also have a B58 engine in our review of the new BMW M340i. And again, I can link that at the end of this video as well. Watch those two videos and some of the stuff will be covered on those two cars. Now the S58, of course, has a larger bore, but a shorter stroke. And what does that do? That gives it more revs. And that's what these M cars are all about, revs. Now in the X3 and X4M, in the standard versions, we have 473 horsepower, 442 foot-pounds of torque. Now, the competition versions of the X3 and the X4M, it makes the horsepower jumps from 473 to 503, but the same amount of torque, 442 foot-pounds. So probably we're going to have similar horsepower figures for the M3 and the M4. As you know, uh, BMW does, does kind of like four variations of the model. So first will be the base in the competition. They may even come out at the same time. And then we'll have CS and probably CSL versions. So assume that the M3 and the M4, I'm going to assume that they're going to make a little bit more than the X3 and X4M. So maybe that in the base models, the 473 is somewhere around 480. Uh, torque is probably going to be about the same, 442, maybe a little more, maybe like 450. And then the competition will probably be, competition cars will probably make 510 horsepower somewhere around there. And those are fantastic horsepower figures. My E46 M3 makes 333 horsepower. Now, here's a little bit more on the four uh, tier model strategy. So at launch, just like the M5 did, we'll have the standard and then shortly after, maybe at the same time, uh, competition version of the car. And then eventually down the road, there'll be a CS version that, like now we're talking about the M2 CS and then eventually a uh, CSL. Now the competition versions are going to be more like track focused cars and probably will have some weight savings as well. Now the old M4 technically had a CSL version. They called it the GTS. Who knows, maybe the car would have sold more if they didn't call it a GTS. We also have a review of that on the channel. It's one of the first reviews we ever did uh, a couple years ago. Forgive the quality, but that was an awesome car. Now one thing that's important to me, don't know if it's important to you, but certainly important to me, is a manual transmission option. So there's been rumors for a long time that there'll be a pure version of this car and what's the pure version? And it was probably going to be called something else when it comes to production, but internally. And that has rear wheel drive and a manual transmission option. And that would be awesome. So we still have the manual. Remember, the M5 is no longer available with the manual. The Corvette's not available with the manual anymore. Uh, not to mention all these exotic cars. Even the new Porsche 992, sadly, at least at this time, and I think they'll do it at some point, uh, have a manual option. Same thing with the new uh, Toyota Supra. So there will be a manual transmission option, which would be awesome. It looks like right now, just on the rear drive version. And obviously, these are going to be considered entry-level cars. They're less complex. They don't have all-wheel drive. So the great news is for the enthusiast who, like me who wants a manual transmission, it'll be the lowest-priced M3, M4, which will be awesome. Now, the new M3 and M4 are supposed to get an all-wheel drive system like the new M5 has. And of course, that's going to offer a fully variable torque split between the front and rear axles. But the big news is you can actually decouple the front axle entirely. And then you can do your burnouts and drifts. Now, this system is actually called BMW M X Drive. 
So this was developed by M itself. And supposedly it's relatively lightweight for an all wheel drive system. So this is gonna be the first time that the M4, or M3 are actually gonna be all wheel drive, but I guess it's a sign of the times. You know, the current M3 and M4 has so much power, it does have trouble getting the rear uh, power down to, through the rear wheels. And uh, obviously for sake of Nürburgring times or zero to 60 times all wheel drive will help a lot in that regard. Will we lose some of the fun? Well, the good news is, you do have a pure version, so you can get a rear drive version of this car uh, if you do not like the all-wheel drive. Now, one thing we've just learned, we assume that the, uh, the automatic transmission version wouldn't have a dual clutch anymore. It would probably use an eight-speed torque converter automatic, probably a ZF or something that's in 80-something cars. It's in the new Supra, it's in the, the M5, it's in the Jaguar F-Type, it's, it's actually in my Audi S8. So it's actually uh, a great automatic transmission. But it looks like that may not be the case, supposedly, and we don't know, this is a rumor, so I shouldn't say supposedly. It looks like the new M3 and the M4 may keep the seven-speed dual clutch that's in the car right now for these new models. Maybe at some point it'll go to a torque converter automatic, but it looks like there's a chance uh, we can still have the DCTs, which kind of makes sense because you're probably not tracking a new M5. It's more of a daily driver, an executive has got to buy that car and a torque converter automatic will be smoother in traffic and still give you plenty of quick shifts up and down on the back roads. M3 and M4, you probably have a higher chance of actually doing a track day with it. And for a track day, I'd much rather have a dual clutch uh, than the eight-speed automatic, but that's just me. Actually, I'd mu much rather have a manual and then the dual clutch and then the eight-speed automatic. So that's really cool. And it looks like there's still gonna be three versions of the car. Obviously, the M3 is the sedan, the M4 is the coupe, and the M4 would also have the convertible since it's two doors. Uh, there are rumors that there may be an M4 Grand Coupe. Now, there's supposed to be an M2 Grand Coupe. So that's no, nobody knows for sure on that, but that is the rumor. Obviously, we're going to have the big, big grills here. I hope they don't overdo it. I think the grills look perfect on the, uh, the M340. And again, watch that video. Uh, so hopefully, they don't ruin the front here. As you can see by all these pictures, some show big grills, some show... show uh, small grills but we'll actually have to wait and see all right guys if you like the new m3 m4 give this video a like uh remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell we're going to have constant updates on these cars with you thinking of getting one for the channel so i want you to comment below should it be the all-wheel drive version should it be the m3 or the m4 or should it be the rear drive manual version let me know in the comments and i will see you next time